Liberated Sisters. This is Pumps on the Ground, Sister Charlene Muhammad in Chicago, right here at the Black Mall. We are in Chatham on 79th Street, and our dear sister Cassiopeia Uhuru and her staff have indeed opened up the spot. They have been online at theblackmall.com for many, many years and have taken it to the community right here in this beautiful corner spot. And so we're going to be speaking with her in a few minutes, Pumps on the Ground later in this show we're going to be speaking to either Fred Hampton Jr. Chairman Fred Hampton Jr. as well as Sister Shakira and their staff regarding what's happening to save the Hampton House pumps in the ground I'm here for the final call newspaper primarily to cover the address of the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan who addressed his critics and enemies and you're gonna to want to hear what he has to say coming up later in the program peace I'm like um, pumps on the ground, liberated sister, sister Charlene Muhammad here. You won't believe where we are today. We're at final call, press day, got our work done. Brother Haroon and I out here at the Hampton House. Liberated Sisters as well as the final call covered this a bit. But right now, Liberated Sisters is here to do something more extensive. And the comrades graciously allowed us to come to the property, y'all. So we're getting ready to speak with them. And I just wanted to give that quick introduction. Let me flip it around. Grandma, how you doing? Well, salam alaikum. Uh, to the final call coming out here. We right out here in front of the Hampton House where Chairman Fred Hampton grew up. This is in Maywood, Illinois, 804 South 17. Across the street, you had the elementary school where he grew up to was uh, Irving Elementary School. Also, with the uh, case that they gave trucked up charges about the ice cream uh, truck. They tried to say we robbed the uh, ice cream truck. This was right down here. Before this building got built right here, it was right down here where they charged where they, where they said that Chairman Fred had supposedly stole $75 worth of ice cream and gave it back to the children and stuff. Mm. So, uh, yeah, this is the house that he grew up with. Also, like at the age of 14, they said there was an uh, FBI attack on this phone because mm -hmm. of the way he was uh, organizing the people. Okay. Uh, now, now, save the Hampton House. Let's give the listeners uh, update, the viewers an update on what we're doing here and give us some status and we're going to continue with whatever you're taking okay, us well, through. Save the, save the Hampton House, that's, uh, one of, one of, that's what we got going on right now, a campaign that we got going on in uh, efforts to save this house uh, and make it uh, a museum for the community, for the people and everything so they can get the uh, true history. It's, uh, some of these children coming out right here, if you ask them right now, they probably wouldn't even know about uh, Chairman Fred and uh, the contributions that he did. And it's not by happenstance, this was done by design, uh, attacking uh, you know the work that we do, you know what I'm saying, when we want to yeah. liberate our people. Yeah. Um, also, uh, like you, you got, uh, note that he left this community during the time we, uh, this was like a, a thriving community. He, uh, you know, he, he left this and went to the west side where he was assassinated, you know what I'm saying, December 4th, 1969. So, but uh, this still needs to be noted. He, he, he uh, led the junior WACP. He came from 30 to uh, 300 members in like a six month time period and all that stuff. Uh, organizing, like you, you still learn about Chairman Fred. He was still out here. He left, let, man, when I say he, he left here night, he left his home, you know what I'm saying, to uh, be with the people, you know what I'm saying? Wow. And, and you can see, we can go in here, you can see that. Uh, okay. A lot of stuff that's been, that's been changes that's been going on. Also, the attacks that's been going on on the legacy. We don't have too many legacies. Uh, period for our people, you know what I'm saying? And the uh, yeah. government always uh, takes it one way or another. Okay, y'all, we're going inside the house. I don't even know. Y'all might have to leave y'all for a minute. Right. We did, uh, these, we've been changing yeah. everything, yep. Work, <laughs> in, work in progress, we had uh, actually situations where uh, different uh, people, uh, what do they say, uh, salt the earth. Yeah. We have to do a lot of cleaning up yes, around sir. here. You know? I understand. 
Yeah, you know, wow. the team is still cleaning. It was like even the lady was uh, something. Sorry. We've been fixing up. Everything. I broke so, it. No, it was already broken. I broke the banister. You know, they had, since <laughs> had people down here when we was out of town and stuff. And like, oh, then, uh, before we, you can look at this door, that's the police, you know what I'm saying, came in and tried to kick Chet and Fred up out of here when we first got here and stuff. And they came with guns drawn. It's on you, uh, YouTube and everything. Yeah, where they came and broke Whoa. the door and everything. Yeah, it was never restored. We didn't want to fix it so we can tell the story about everything that's going on. Wow. And stuff. I know this light like, right on your brother. No, it's okay. We uh, Look. This is different colors and everything. We've been doing the painting, taking our time and limited resources. We got our minister of finance to give you where we had on that and everything. But okay. this is the museum. That we got going on with different uh, pictures and everything, you know what I'm saying? So, Comrade right, Cool, take my, uh, you know, uh, tour. All right, free all this area here is the Chairman um, Fred Hampton Memorial Museum. And again, this is Comrade Cool, and back here is Comrade Cool. Comrade Cool. Comrade Cool. Yeah, free cool. Comrade Cool, and I'm thinking about Mama and Jerry. Yeah, cool, and this yeah. is Minister of Finance, Sister Miss Shakira. Yes. Okay, okay, Sister. Down here, you'll see a lot of images depicting a lot of history. This picture here um, was in the Black Panther Party because it was in solidarity with the indigenous community protesting the pipeline. Um, it's that standing rock. Yeah, that's a standing rock. Um, this picture here is actually a photo after Chairman Fred and Defense Captain Mark Clark was assassinated. Um, that's the police, Chicago police carrying his body out, um, chanting, Chairman Fred is dead. Look at that smile. Yeah. Man, that, that, man, he looked like Darren Wilson, that second one from the left. The cop that shot Michael Brown. There's also uh, two Negro uh, police officers, too, that was, that's not on that uh, photo. I forget, one, one James, uh, James Glove Davis, and I forget Bloods, the other. Bloods, uh -huh, Glove, Glove yeah, Davis. Yeah, and, uh, he, wanted, they say fatal he put the fatal shots in uh, Chairman Fred, yeah, uh, uh, really? that came in there, yeah, from his revolver. Yes, yes. Indeed, go, go ahead, cool. Wow. Um, this picture right here, or this poster board right here, um, then you'll see a few images of different survival programs and also some history of the Black Panther Party. Um, similar picture there, Minister Huey T. Newton, as well as Chairman Bobby Seale. That's the actual uh, have the original uh, uh, poster that they had back then. Wow. You know going on. So that's part of people been giving uh, giving us uh, archives. And stuff this is wonderful. Things are coming out the woodwork. Yeah, for the woodwork. We museum. actually got some of his poles and stuff that he had. That, that, you know, and that cool computer. A lot of these paintings were um, donated to the home for for the museum. Yeah. Here, you see Minister of Health. Mm -hmm. Doc Satchel. Mm -hmm. He have organized the free some of the free medical clinics here in Chicago. Deputy Chair Marshall, you know this picture right here? That's a picture of the uh, medical center that was on the west side. Uh, the free uh, medical center is probably Jake Williams. He was also killed, uh, I want to say a month before Chairman Fred. He was assassinated by the police a month before Chairman Fred, uh, November 13, 69. And uh, the FBI actually rolled over, I think it was what uh, Nixon that said, because uh, he got two of them. Uh, two, I forget their names though. Um, forgive me for that. I forget their names. So much history. But uh, he got two of them. They said the next time the Panthers got the last one, the next one is on us. And that's when they got the fifth captain, uh, uh, Chairman Fred. Wow. Yeah, right up there in uh, December 4th. Yeah. Wow. So as you can see, look at some of this furniture and stuff too, because these were some of the actual stuff that was here when we were, uh, when Chairman actually lived. Uh, some of this, we had uh, China and stuff. People came to ask, like, Please, like, don't get rid of certain this stuff because this is actual stuff that he had and used, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Stuff. Yeah. Like this table stuff. We put this on him. This table always been, you can tell these chairs, they've been uh, here since, you know what I'm saying? Forever. Yeah. Whatever. But we're trying to keep, you know what I'm saying? Some wow. stuff. The painter always been here. I remember growing up <laughs> and seeing that painting in the back room where he lived. I mean, where he kept it. This stuff, I believe they said that was his back room. Oh, wow. Yeah. Let me yeah. see them getting the glare and the light, but I'm coming close. This liberated sister's pumps on the ground. Here it is. Here yes, sir. Uh, no, this painting right here behind you, that's Mama Okoye. As we were speaking earlier, you thought that mm -hmm. cool was a cool. This Mama yeah. Okoye, Jerry, then Deborah Johnson, right after the assassination. You, you can see the, uh, uh, a, a lady named Sophia Dawson in New York gave it, uh, donated to this uh, when we was in New York. Wow. Yeah, she actually painted wet paint or some art. I forget that's her name. Oh, beautiful. Uh, Get this. It's well protected. This, this picture here is actually a picture of Mama Akua um, after the assassination. Oh yeah, they locked her up. Uh, they, the people who was in the house when they assassinated, they locked, they locked them up and gave them trumped up charges and stuff. 
I'm like a mama core praying you doing well, sister. Right on. We love you. We love you, Mama Conrad. Look at our brother, y'all. That poster there is for um, the annual Chairman Fred Streets party, which is every year, August 30th, mm -hmm. honoring the birthday yes. of Chairman Fred. We're in a sacred space, really. There they go. Very sacred space. So this Remember was the street his, side? Yeah. Oh, I'm this sorry, was his you? room back here? No, it's back. It's, it's in the back. Back, yeah, back. Because the house is back. very yeah, long. Yeah, yeah, it's back. Yo. Yeah. There's some, um, these photos over here. This is um, oh, from the poster of some of the uh, fallen comrades from the Illinois State Chapter, okay. as well as the survivors of the um, massacre on Monroe, December 4th, 1969. Yeah. I'm on my way. I'm just creeping because yeah, I don't want to knock up. anything down. A few articles here also from the Black Panther Party Intercommunal News Service newspaper. Speak on William O'Neill. This here is William O'Neill. He was the FBI informant um, that was infiltrated into the Illinois, the Chicago branch. Mm -hmm. He uh, gave the FBI uh, a, de a, uh, a blueprint. A detail. Mm -hmm. uh, detail. They, uh, they said they could find a pack of cigarettes in the uh, apartment where Chairman Fred uh, and the defense captain were assassinated. Uh, yeah, so he did that for like $200 back then, you know what I'm saying? Oh my God. Yeah, he was one of the uh, people, he was one of the uh, people who they said was involved in that too, though. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. This is uh, the actual, the line where they opened up the doors after the assassination of Chairman Fred, this picture right here, is where they opened up the doors after the, they assassinated him and they left everything where it was, you know what I'm saying? It was so arrogant, that was one of the big, uh, big mistakes that they made so the people can see, you know what I'm saying, what was done. At the time, at this, and it was also a scare tactic, we believe, you know what I'm saying, that they're doing the people as well. Yeah. This is the office that one of the headquarters that got shot up and raided too. This room right here also is uh, uh, Chairman Fred, our chairman, Chairman Fred Jr. right here, at his uh, Minister UEP News speech, and they said he jumped out of his godmother arms and ran and saw the picture of Chairman right there, and they took somebody, caught, caught, captured that photo. Wow, look at this. Yep. Whoever moved on that, yeah, that's, that's a quick thinking person or photographer. Did I tell you about the street sign? Do you know? Are you familiar with the street sign? We fought for that 2337 West Monroe. We call it Chairman Fred Hampton Way hmm. because we wanted to get that name after Chairman uh, Chairman Fred and stuff. We didn't. Uh, we wasn't able uh, to get that, but we was able to heighten a lot of contradictions on on, on trying to get that on how the police. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Don't oh. want this. The state don't want this. Uh, they basically came out their mouth and said they don't want that. You know what I'm saying? They rather have. Street signs for anybody else, you know what I'm saying? Wow. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. We're going to turn this, this in, okay, go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> this yeah, go ahead. room here, um, we're actually going to turn this room into a mock assassination room, trying to find a Oh, wow. Oh, where's the line? That's right here, come I got it. Mm -hmm. Yo, come on. Wow. So it's going really? to be a mock assassination <laughs> room. Y'all like, going there? He's like, we actually got yeah. this is some of Chairman Fred's clothes in here. You know what I'm saying? We until we gonna get them framed up and everything. Like these, these is actual clothes. Yep, yeah, that he wore in some of those pictures and stuff. Can I show that? Yeah, 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 yeah. This is brother. Yeah, that's, that's clearly. Yeah. That's how he left them at right there. So yeah, this will be the mock assassin. We're not done. We're gonna make it look like the uh, actual room. Like yeah, you see how it is though with the room. How they the left mattress. it. The mattress. Yeah, the mattress and everything. So yeah. Okay. Somebody just threw a whole lot of red paint on the bed. Yeah. yeah. There's. That's one of the jail. Uh, they say rehabilitated on there. That's until when they they assassinated them. On the, uh, the one of the jail, well, I'll tell you about the ice cream. All right, they sent them down to Menard right. and all that for that. What we were talking about earlier, right? Created class suicide coming from this uh area and then going like saying, Man, like even one of his speeches, he said, Uh, we in the valley or whatever. I'm paraphrasing, I ain't got that, but he's like, right. I, I mean, I thought I was in the mountaintop already, you know what I'm saying? But you go back to the people in the, with, with, with the valley and understand that. 
just because you know it's other people we need more than just ourselves you know yeah so yeah and understand yeah. and what's to, get, to understand the people we got to be with the people to find out their needs yeah, and what they want talk, yeah. exactly you know and we just heighten contradictions yeah 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 you can't be like oh the people need this and you okay right, right right talking yeah. for them yeah. we're not dictators yeah. that's yeah, right you know what I'm saying? Yeah. we raise the people yeah we heighten contradictions and the people see it for themselves and they call the question mm -hmm. yes ma'am yeah. we can wow yeah I think sister wanted to show you a little more. Oh yeah, I'm. I'm, I'm we got some more to go. I'm Come together. On, I'm still, I'm still working on this. Liberated sisters pumps on the ground. Right on. I'm sorry. Oh, so sorry. oh okay. Well, I'm trying to make this a uh, studio right now. We building this, and then actually the room that Chairman Fred slept in was back there. You know what I'm saying? Right there. Yeah, we go. Well, hold on. Let me make sure to get a shirt. I just see if I can just see the door. <laughs> <laughs> it's so, cool. Yeah, it's yeah. No, it's okay. I just, well, I'm really, just I don't even know if I can handle going in there. Yeah, it's, I mean, you can go. Uh, Y'all, I it's really good. don't. <laughs> I, I don't think I can handle going into the room yeah. where he was assassinated. I'm already no, 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 in the room space. He assassinated. That's where he, when he slept. You know what I'm saying? When he was oh, there. I'm sorry. He got That's assassinated on the west side. Okay, brother. Watch it. This is not the house. Okay. This is not the house. This is where he grew up. This is where he yeah. grew up at. Okay. I'm he left up. this and went to the west side, which was more ran down. Like, it, it was the poorest. It was the yeah. poor during that time. You know, it still remains to be, like, you know what I'm saying, I one of the it. most, yeah. uh, man, disenfranchised uh, uh, part of our community. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. you had, as you can see, this is still nice, a nice house now. You know what yeah. I'm saying? This time, during that time, and, you know what I'm saying, in the 50s. He, he he left this, you know what I'm saying, and went to the where where where, where, where yeah. it wasn't that he good. He went deep you know in. Yeah. Sister yeah. Shakira said to be with the people. Yeah. I got when the last room we went into really. I went. Yeah. I could. Yeah. Where well, his clothes is in there. Feel that. Yeah. So now yeah. everything after that, when you open the door, I was pretty much like. Was yeah. in this room. Right, right. So right. I could I triggered like yeah, but right this away. Studio but that's working on, yeah, to get this. this is, up. I'm sorry. Yeah. Let me just. Mm, this is this is yeah. the doorway yeah. to where he grew up. Yeah, Slept as a child. Okay, now on. Um, yeah, no, you good. This is just a bad. Okay, so we're gonna have a studio when he oh yeah, snap. Yep, yep. It's about to be on. Yeah. When you have your own media. Yeah, <laughs> so, you know, we got, go ahead. Yo. Here's some images oh, of um, the some of the survival programs from the Black Panther Party, the free bus and the prison program. Um, this is actually a picture of the free breakfast program. Mm -hmm. uh, we do triple C's, children, community, and cubs, which mm -hmm. emulates the free breakfast program. Um, here, you see a free and more radio poster every Wednesday. Um, we have free and more radio emulates the um, Black Panther Party newspaper. It comes on every Wednesday at six o'clock. Yeah. Phone number there nine two nine four seven seven three seven eight five. Press one to be heard. Wonderful. Yeah. Press one to be heard. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. My goodness, how is it going? Children yeah. and stuff. Uh -huh. I don't know what the youth doing out there. Are they in the middle of uh, some kind of program or something? No, they're just um, Okay, yeah. Right, cool. Yeah. This is so beautiful to be here. That's also awesome coming uh, 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 right there. Uh huh, that's right. <laughs> she came to him in the fire car yesterday. Yeah. How did you enjoy that, sister? Oh, it was awesome. Yeah, my first time. Good. That's. Oh, really? Wow. And, and live, live, I've heard him speak. That's right. Live, Thanks for coming. How, where are we now with oh no continue I don't are we uh, yeah we done with the okay. photos yeah. yeah yeah this is about this this is it we're, we're not it this is where we at right now yeah it's you know beginning the well, beginning of the tenant but yeah, far as the update the interview, yeah. specific okay about the how just everything okay so, yeah, so we wanted y'all to get the right. tour thank you the flavor of the house and let me get up let me go in so whenever I didn't know how you you said you wanted to, would that help I mean whenever oh yeah ready. definitely did you, get the, the, did you get the table um the table? not the way I wanted so okay good one more here's the table beautiful table I don't think I got these shots, everybody. You see this article? Mark Clark's body in morgue, unclaimed family yeah. never notified. What was that? Mm -hmm. The tomb he's buried, Chairman Fred is buried in Hainesville, Louisiana. His mm. tomb song has been shot up annually, you know what I'm saying, by law enforcement. So, yep, yeah, they shoot his tomb, tombstone annually. We yeah. go down there and uh, clean it up every Father's Day. Wow. You know what I'm saying? Instead, of, we, we, not, we ain't really big on celebrating, you know, their holidays and yeah. there. Well, we politicize and get out there, you know, and spend it with the chairman, you know what I'm That's saying? That's really wonderful. And take the children and everything. What, yeah. what part, like, what, what region of Louisiana is that? I'm from Louisiana. Louisiana. It's like more north. It's close to Monroe. Like Graham and Monroe. Not yeah. too far from Monroe. Got it. Yeah. Thank you. 
Okay, everybody. I've somewhat recovered from the tour of this Hampton House, the Hampton House, which has been turned into a museum. As you heard, it's going to have a studio. There's going to be a, an assassination simulation. No, not it's a simulation. Mock, a mock, a mock uh -huh, assassination, a mock assassination room. room. Uh huh. But now we're sitting here with the Minister of Finance, Sister Shakura Sinkwali. She's going to give us an update on what's happening with the Hampton House. It Look, if I'm looking like I'm kind of timid and crazy because I'm trying to make sure to be careful, everything here is so precious. I, you, you've seen or you will see the picture of the table. And so I'm trying not to touch it too much. But, <laughs> Sister, thank you for being on Liberated uh -huh. Sisters again. Thank you. Live for, in person. Thank you for inviting us. Yes, yes. So give us an update on, first and foremost, the house and okay. the status Do, of saving it. A little bit of history or you got that already? Well. How much history you want? Let's give an update. Let's say let's say. we're trying to save the Hampton House. Right. That's The house is, Okay. Uh, she's so. going to give that, but give an update. Okay. And then we're going to go through okay, we'll go. as okay. much or a little as you want. Okay. But I want them to know. So right now, as of, of today, we got to stay. The house was uh, going to be up for auction on October 23rd of uh, this year um because of we got a call i got a call from the mortgage company after us calling them every day talking to them almost uh weekly and uh asking for any relief you know if we could pay a certain amount or whatever the answer was no 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 mm -hmm. we get down to the uh day before um the 23rd so on the 22nd i get a call from the mortgage company and prior to it was like an act of Congress trying to get through to them, mm -hmm. to speak to them. They called, yes, they called us and said, we're going to give you a stay mm -hmm. of 30 days. Well, an extension of 30 days. And so I asked the representative, whoever, uh, what, what caused the company to do that after I just spoke to someone yesterday? Mm -hmm. And they told us, no, there was nothing they could do. He said, because y'all made so much noise ah. that uh, they decided to give us a stay on this. And so it wasn't just us. It wasn't just the Black Panther Party Cubs, but it was the people. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, the, 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 the people, uh, because of the work that we've been doing around saving the, the whole campaign, the word getting out and people understanding the significance of the legacy of the Black Panther yeah. Party and the legacy of Chairman Fred, Hampton Senior, um, the people, uh, you know, mm. you know, just continue to put out, make calls. People, uh, as far as we have wow. two, go, we have GoFundMe, PayPal, so we have sources mm -hmm. where people can donate to help us save the Hampton House. Um, but uh, one of the newspapers mm -hmm. came out, whatever. So it just kind of blew up. Yeah. So the company called and, and told us they'd give us 30 days. So we're still... We're still in, um, in the uh, fight. fighting. Yes, yes, the fight is yes. serious, and it's down to the to the end because we're getting close to the thirty day uh, extension. How much date. more time? So we only have about a week, Ooh, and so fantastic. right now, yes, uh, uh, we're putting a call out to uh, any and everyone. Uh, if you if you know about Chairman Fred Hampton. The, assassin, the brutal assassination of Chairman Fred Hampton and Defense Captain Mark Clark on December 4th, 1969, 4.30, 4.15 in the morning. Um, if you know about the work of the Black Panther Party and how significant they were, uh, uh, not only to, to the United States, but around the world. The Black Panther Party was very significant. Um, uh, we, we know that because of COINTELPRO. We know about the brutal attacks, but when we look at counterintelligence program, COINTELPRO, the program that was put together by under the leadership of J. Edgar Hoover, yes. then FBI uh, director, um, uh, the, the person that orchestrated it was William C. Sullivan. And uh, the, so the, the part of the COINTELPRO, or the, their number one, their number one priority was destroying a, a movement uh, in general, but the Black Panther Party in particular. Uh, mm -hmm. So, um, when pe if you understand the significance, then you need to make a call. You need to send some money to GoFundMe or PayPal, and I'll give all the uh, yes, information in a little bit. Me. So here we are. We need eighty thousand dollars to just totally save the ha Hampton House and get control, as far as financially uh, uh, finances are concerned. We need two hundred thousand is our overall goal that we have on GoFundMe right now. Mm -hmm. That'll take care of you know yeah, bringing the sure. house up to code and yeah. restoring and and moving the the museum forward. But as you've seen, with nothing, the Black Panther Party Cubs and this and the community all mm -hmm. around 
uh, south side, west side of Chicago, people have, 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 have donated okay. cans of paint out of state, yes, from around the wow. country. We have forces that have come in from out of the country, left there, whatever they were doing, and came because they know the significance and want to work on saving the Hampton House. Um, but people in the neighborhood bring by bottles of cases of water, paint. Uh, Chairman Fred was sharing the other day that it was a, a brother that came by and he was doing some painting and that's what he does for a living. Mm -hmm. But his mother saw, saw, uh, yeah, she saw something live and she told him, do you know who's that house that you're painting on? And he, when she gave him the history, he called Chairman Fred and said, you know, brother, I'll do this. For, the, for nothing because I didn't know, yeah. you know, wow. the significance of, of this house that I was painting. Yeah. Wow. So that's how the, that's how, that's the response from, from the people. Uh, uh, we need those that got big dollars. We're talking about entertainers, uh, uh, actors, our, our, our rap artists and yeah. all the different artists um, uh, who, 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 who say they understand the struggle, uh, who, who may or may not say that they're, you know, uh, revolutionary type uh, uh, singers or conscious uh, artists or whatever. Mm -hmm. The issue is, if you believe in the work that the, the Black Panther Party was doing and the Black Panther Cubs, we are not Black Panthers, we are Cubs of Panthers and we are carrying on the legacy of mm -hmm. the Black Panther Party. If you believe in what we're doing, you need to make a donation. We had uh, people coming around. One sister came, rode a bus for an hour. Mm -hmm. to bring $50 to the Hampton House when we had the Cubathon on, on the anniversary of the Black Panther Party, mm -hmm. October 15th and 16th of, uh, of this year. It was the 52nd anniversary of the Black Panther Party mm -hmm. of Oakland when it started in Oakland in 1966. Yeah. But it was the 50th anniversary for the chapter here mm -hmm. in Illinois. People came in. This, lady, this sister rode a bus for over an hour to bring $50 from her and another sister. She said, I just wanted to bring it personally. Mm -hmm. uh, a 11-year-old sister came uh, was brought with her, her father brought her and that's the, you know parents the teaching them yes yeah. from the community teaching them how we give back especially wow. to, to uh, uh, significant you know uh, programs um, and, and something that's significant is saving the Hampton House so at a young age this little sister was proud to bring her money in and Chairman Fred said we're gonna uh, frame uh, mm -hmm. her donation that's and just other other them. other other yes other examples like that homeless brother gave ten dollars do we if you if you haven't been homeless ten dollars is a lot of money <laughs> I'm sorry. so right sorry, now table. that's okay <laughs> but right now we need to uh, we need to raise this eighty thousand dollars, and so, so for some, I know that's nothing. I even know other work, you know, working class and poor uh, poor Africans have have don't you know they have uh, donated from 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 sacrifice, yeah. you know, two, three, four hundred dollars. Wow. So you know, a couple few thousand dollars is nothing. So liberated sisters, as she continues, we don't have fundraisers on the show. I think anything I've ever asked for was a sponsorship to advertise your business or your service. And that would be an exchange, right? But I think this is as good a time as any for me to begin and for us to begin a benefit. So I wanna say, let's have a fundraiser for this campaign. And what I'm right saying on, is, the fundraiser is donate. I'm gonna donate $100 today. Free I think all. that's what Free I have all. with my wallet. I'm gonna Free get that. All. So join me, whatever you right. have, but if there's anyone that's listening that that's has awesome. the $80,000, we do it. We do it. I'm a member of KPFK. Liberated Sisters started on KPFK. So most of you who are listening, especially those who are here in the L.A. proper area, right? We're in Chicago now, but I'm talking to you there, which is home, which is here, right? Yes. <laughs> Does it make sense? Yeah. But you know about fundraising. We do it. We give. We give for gifts. We get mugs. We get CDs. We get DVDs. We get many, many, many. Wow. This this is something. We get hours and hours and hours of words and lectures from the Black Panther Party, particularly including especially Chairman Fred Hampton Sr. So let's give to them. That just touched me because I think about it like right now in an upcoming fundraiser and I'm more than sure in the one that just passed at KPFK, you donated. So donate, I'm asking you, just donate on the strength of knowing what he did, what he does, what they do, what they did and help them. So join me. If you have a hundred, match that. Go higher, match what you can, give what you can. But if you have 40,000, 80,000, please give it and let's let sister 
tell us more about the campaign, starting with the history you wanted to give of, okay. of and how we got here with the house needing to be saved. But by the way, it looks great. <laughs> Thank you. you know, I, Thank didn't, you. I really didn't know what to expect. Cause we talked before. We talked on the show before, but I thought I was going to come in and it was something that probably was just uh, being renovated or what have you. I really didn't know, but it's livable. Mm -hmm. yes, it's better it than a lot of houses beautiful. that's right today. You haven't gone under any kind of foreclosure problem. Go ahead. Right. Okay. Well, a few months ago, uh, the last uh, sibling of Chairman Fred Sr., passed away February of this year. Mm -hmm. uh, Welcome to Olympics. Thank you. And Chairman, um, that would be William uh, Hampton, Chairman Fred, you know, found out, you know, that the house was in foreclosure, you mm -hmm. know, because a lot of us, you know, usually, you know, our, we, we think in, in our heads and it had been, you know, paid off. Our grandparents paid their house yeah, off. We and so we, never, we don't know. Yeah. And so when he found out about it, that's when the campaign started. He said, we got to save this mm -hmm. house. Um, um, so that was a few months ago. So it's been, I think you heard earlier, uh, it's been some house cleaning, mm -hmm. literally, it's physically, and, 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 and so forth. Mm -hmm. Um, uh, even like with activity or whatever that was going on here prior to, yeah. to us getting here, we have neighbors and, and people in the community saying, we're so glad you're here, yeah. mm -hmm. you know, yeah. uh, and this legacy again, mm -hmm. oh, let me, let me rewind so I can go step by step sure. to answer the, uh, what you were saying. So the way we got in this, so when, when chairman found out the house was in foreclosure, it was already in foreclosure. Mm -hmm. So he immediately started to take the steps to, uh, be able to uh, get control, D the house, and so forth and so on. Mm -hmm. So it, it it took a minute, uh, or it's we're still in that process, as a matter of fact, um, uh, as far as you know the standing and so forth. So mm -hmm. uh, we're moving we're moving forward. But again, the biggest thing is uh, the deadline. So anyway, that does that answer your question? Absolutely. So it was already in foreclosure. Don't so pay attention, and I hope mm -hmm. y'all telling me something on Facebook, get the money, get the money. Right. And one thing, and I know uh, probably some people, you know, brothers and sisters that are listening, someone they know or uh, some elderly people uh, have been victims of, of, of uh, predatory lending and things oh, like yeah. that. And one of the things we found out from the record of deeds office or the mm. yeah recorder of deeds office was that one of the loans that one of these predatory companies had uh, contracted with Mr. and Miss Hampton, Chairman Fred's grandparents, um, was one of the worst loans they had ever encountered. Mm -hmm. It was over two hundred thousand dollar loan to seniors. You know, in, you know, well, so that that was that's just a clear, you know, uh, example of predatory lending. But this is an, another example of what we will be the work that we'll be able to continue out of that Hampton House and raising contradictions like that. Because again, mm -hmm. we, this is, is not always on our minds, or we don't know mm -hmm. the ins and outs of this. But this will at least we can get the word out and we can uh, raise contradictions yeah. around that predatory lending and how things like that happen more, you know, in the African community as as, as we know. Oh, absolutely! So, so many homes across the country. Mm -hmm. I know especially like Los Angeles took a hit, like even in the neighborhood where I'm from, mostly retired people, uh, retired military, just teachers, people who have done their job, right. like lived their lives and, you know, got loans to fix a roof or just to get a vacation or just upgrade their house just a little bit that right. they didn't even need. Yeah. Right, that they didn't right. even need, right. and then just strip then their property. Strip them of their of, of their property. So that's an example. And then, uh, you know, we continue. Uh, so that's that's how we got in the situation where we're where we're at. So that's what we, in a, in a nutshell, is what we're needing. And I, since you just you know put the call out. Um, uh, or invitation for people to, to, to make a donation. Yes. I want to go Please ahead and give do. our GoFundMe. Absolutely. Okay. It's, and we'll put it on the page too, but yes. Okay. It's GoFundMe.com forward slash Save the Hampton House. That's GoFundMe.com forward slash Save the Hampton House. I can't see it. Oh, oh yes. Okay. And then uh, PayPal.me forward slash save the Hampton house. So that's paypal.me forward slash save the Hampton house. And that's gofundme.com forward slash save the Hampton house. And we also have a website, www.savethehamptonhouse.org. You uh, see that hashtag right there? 
It's probably mm -hmm. coming up different for them. <laughs> Backwards. Right. Save the Hampton House. Right. Hashtag Save the Hampton House. Go ahead. Hashtag Save the Hampton House. Or those that are in the vicinity can stop by the Hampton House at 804 South 17th Avenue here in Maywood, Illinois, 60153. Uh, you can mail you can mail a money order. You can mail a check. It needs to be made out to affect real change. That's affect real change with an E. Affect real change or with an A. Just effect. E. Okay, that's right. Okay, it's okay because yeah. it's gonna effect be over here. Okay. <laughs> yeah, right on, house. right on. But you know, for those who want to hear it, because a lot of people, a lot of our people don't have. Uh, they're not in internet areas, no, in rural yes. areas, you know. And so, right. But if you're getting this, then chances are you are. Right. But yeah. Right. Affect yeah. real give. change. That's give, it. Give, 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 give. Right. Save the Hampton House. And and just just to say a little bit more, a couple of things I wanted to say. Some of the campaigns Absolutely. that we just helped with recently, just in, in case you you know you're not from here, oh. but uh, we were out with the family yesterday. Um, yeah regarding Kiara Coles, a 26-year-old sister who has been missing since October the 2nd. Look at that baby. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, we're out with the community and, and her, her father, um, you know, searching. Because she was the, last seen October 2nd. Yeah. Yes, October 2nd. And again, we know the, uh, the, the, the state don't respond when ours are missing or whatever. So mm -hmm. the community's been out and we'll continue to, to go out and help support. So let me tell them, yes. she has a tattoo of a heart on her right hand, mm -hmm. lucky Libra on her back. Because in the case of Brandy Odom in New York, mm -hmm. her mother's in the kitchen and uh, the news comes on. I think you said you were in the kitchen, Sister Brandy. I'm sorry, sister, friends and daughter, but the mother hears on the news mm -hmm. about a missing body. She mm -hmm. said, I didn't think it was my baby. If they mm -hmm. had said that she had a tattoo of chocolate on her left mm -hmm. breast, I would have known. Mm -hmm. So again, this, yeah, they didn't yeah. mention the tattoo, very identifiable. Mm -hmm. A heart on her right hand, lucky Libra on her back. Yeah. There's a twenty-five up to $25,000 reward. She was a United States Postal Service letter carrier. That's going to carry some weight for whoever has her, yeah. if someone has her. Yeah. Yes. And if you if 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 you're listening and you're able to come home, yes. your family and your community loves you. Come home. Yes, indeed. Yes. And another, I know. If you can, you know, I have to say that because I want to correct, not yeah. correct, but I want to make something point. And a lot of times when our girls go missing, they say they're runaways. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. But they're yeah. missing. Yeah. Somebody took them. Yeah. So I want to just make sure that last message was in the event yes. that she you left. Pregnant. And, and she, was, she, was she was also pregnant. And she's pregnant. Yeah, she's pregnant. She's pregnant. She was. We don't, we don't. Yeah. She is pregnant. Yeah. Um, and then oh, another sister. It. Yes, 81-year-old sister. Uh, Thana. Oh, Mohammed. Yes. 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 We wrote a book at Sister yes. Thana. Come on. Not yes. yet. We don't have her. And the Cubs were out there. Yes. Yeah. Helping with that. With, uh huh. In the community. Thank you all so yes. much. Yes. So we, yeah, we were out there. Yes. June 10th. So you see the work that they're doing? Long legacy, long line of this. June 10th. Her story's at finalcall.com. Yeah. Yes. Okay, and uh, the Triple C's went out and did uh, a program, and that's uh, commun uh, community children, children, community, and cubs. That's yeah. what the Triple C stands for, and they did an event out at the location where wow. with, uh -huh, Sister Mohammed. Wow. Yes, yes. and um, so and then uh, Brother Jeremy, my mind just lost the last name from we were we were Jamil. I'm sorry. Jamil. Yes, that was killed by the police. Uh, I mean that Robertson. Robertson, and, and, that's right, Robertson. And was um, killed in Robbins, one in Robbins, Illinois, too. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Right. No and so we were with the family. That's the that's the uh, security the security guard for one of the oh. bars over yeah. there. And then in a, Robbins, Illinois, they just shot. This the brother AR that yeah. he subdued yeah. the person that had a gun yeah. or whatever. A police from another town, right? Yeah, yeah Middleton right, or right, whatever it's called. Right, um, that's right. Methodian. Yes. yes. Methodian police is the actual one who they was in Robbins, but Methodian police came, came over and they came, and just the walked in. The gun that they shot him with was like five times with an AR-15. Yes. Yeah. And that was just a few days ago. So we were with yeah. that family yesterday. Yeah, and I think yeah. Attorney Lee Merritt. Yeah. I received something. Attorney Lee Merritt is on that case. Thank Allah. Yeah. Yes. Wow. 
Yes. So this is what's happening here, right here from this space. But before this space, it was happening regardless. Yeah, on the streets. Right? Oh yes, oh yes, oh yes. But this just gives a base to work out of and continue the, you know, different campaigns and, mm -hmm. and be able to add on, you know, do whatever else needs to be done based on the, you know, needs of the community and, yeah. and, and whatever happens, you know, yeah. every day it's different because uh, as chairman say, you know, uh, we, even though we have a, a place to work out of, uh, our office hours are, you know, we, we work 24 seven, <laughs> seven, days, seven days a week. Wherever we are. Uh -huh. yes. Yes. And our office still remains to be the streets. The streets. That's right. We are the among the people. Yeah. And the people are secretaries, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, yeah. That's yeah. 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 Wow. How is Mama Ku and Chairman Fred Jr. doing? They, How are they doing? They're doing well. Yeah. They're doing well. I talked to uh, Sister Comrade Akua uh, a little bit earlier today. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. So, we're all gearing up for IRD. You know, International Revolutionary Day is when we commemorate the uh, assassinations of Chairman Fred, Deputy Chairman Fred Hampton, and Defense Captain Mark Clark, December 4th. Uh, mm -hmm. So every December fourth is uh, IRD, mm -hmm. and so uh, and I, I I just was thinking about Mama Kua, yeah. you know, because that's the time when she when she shares that experience, mm -hmm. and I, all I can say is anybody who if you haven't been, we want it we want y'all to come out. What's the what's what's the, what's the thing? You know? The theme uh, is bring the archives. Yeah, bring the archives. Mm -hmm. uh, one yeah, thing the chairman the had said that people have been bringing um, yeah. different pieces, yeah. uh, paintings like and uh, pictures yeah. and uh, newspapers, and so. Uh, for this year, December 4th, or IRD, is Bring the Archives. So if you have any uh, Black Panther uh, archives, yeah. newspapers, yeah. books, uh, yeah, memorabilia, yeah. posters, yeah. Uh, letters even. Yeah. Sometimes we even find, you know, different things. Yeah. So, you know, we welcome Bring the Archives. And mm. uh, But when you come, one of the highlights is uh, at uh, 2337, uh, West Chairman uh, Fred Hampton Way, uh, formerly M Monroe, well, Monroe Street, oh, where the, yeah, 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 <laughs> uh, we call it Ground Zero, but one of the highlights of the event for that whole week is hearing Sister Mother Comrade uh, yeah. share that, wow. share that account. Yeah. It might be freezing outside, but when she shared that account, you know, it's, it just does something uh, to you. Yeah. And, uh, yes. Yeah. 12, 12 o'clock noon. Uh-huh. 12 o'clock noon. As you continue, sister, one thing I thought about with that, see, the people in Oakland with mm -hmm. the Oscar yeah. Grant movement, yeah. Uncle Bobby, the Uncle community Bobby, yeah. there, Sister yeah. Beatrice, all of them, they just took it. Yeah. They said, this is the Grant Station now. Yeah. They're fighting for yeah. it. Yes. And Beachy, Beachy, you're listening, so let me know. I think you all got it. But <laughs> Fruit Girl yeah. became the Grant Station. They said, right. we don't care what. Yeah. 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 Well, we, <laughs> said, we said the same thing. That's yeah. 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 That was clear. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yes. yes. So that's so, where we are right now. Is there anything else you want to add? Anything else that's needed? Anything you could think of that you want the Liberated Sisters family to know? Support. And again, I'm, I'm, this is pumps in the ground, but as you already know, I write as a student national correspondent for the Final Call newspaper. Yeah. Yeah. So anything you want the readers and listeners to know? I just want people to put the word out about the campaign. Use all your contacts, social media, whatever. Uh, uh, pass the word out that we are. Uh, there's a campaign in Chicago uh, in Maywood to save the Hampton House, the boyhood home of Chairman Fred Hampton, um, uh, Deputy Chairman of the Black Panther Party in Illinois. Um, th and then p people just do whatever, any kind of support. We put the call out for financial support, but however, however you want to support or can support, that's the thing. So just whatever you can do will be greatly, you know, we appreciate it. Yeah, you can yes. send gift cards mm -hmm. because again, they're uh, the I, I want to say renovating, but the I don't know what y'all renovating. Well, we, it looks yeah. good up in here. Yeah, we still have. <laughs> the, you, you go see uh, what we got to play. Oh, yeah. <laughs> wow. Yeah, we have. Yeah, this is just one level. Well, That's what we're trying to move. Yes. We did this because we wanted to show the people, you know what I'm saying? We, we what can be done. That's right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What, yeah. What and be. I do get it. And you know what? But we have the mock assassination room. Mm -hmm. to, um, mm -hmm. But also, they eat. <laughs> right, yeah, right, right. And feeding people. Up. Yes, so yes, resources, yes, yes. Uh -huh. Costco gift cards, yeah. mm -hmm. whatever you can think of. Right. Yes. I mean, uh -huh. this isn't a natural disaster. No, not but it was certainly the result of a disaster. Absolutely. So mm -hmm. pour it out. Yes, that was created. Well, send the That's finances awesome. because they need money to save the house. That's right. So if you're listening, okay, let's and get ten people. Let's get that eighty thousand. 
We can do it. Yes, we Liberated can. Liberated sisters, we can do it. We can do it. We can do it. We can do it. Yes, we I just can. believe yeah. that somebody viewing is going to send in eighty thousand dollars. Right, I feel you. I'm man. calling you. Yes, we calling it in. Come on. Well, I appreciate it. We appreciate you coming out, so Thank we can you. tell this story. It's yeah. so, because it's so important. You know, I, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know how to even express mm -hmm. how important it is. You know, the Black Panther Party. And 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 definitely the, under the leadership of Chairman Fred Hampton, the Black Panther Party again. I just I, I just touch not only the United States, but even when I'm outside this country, mm -hmm. specifically uh, was outside this country, and and in each one of them, I went because they wanted to know what was going on since the Black Panther Party and the time, mm -hmm. uh, you know, of of the Black Panthers, and so mm -hmm. they knew about. Chairman Fred Hampton, mm -hmm. they knew the work of the Black Panther Party. I mean, in several countries, yeah. you know, uh, no and, yes. No and doubt. so it's, it's what they did and what they, what, what, what they left, the legacy uh, direction and, and, and a way to, a way to move forward. Oh, go ahead. Bro, her room, I'm gonna need you to move out the way. <laughs> We're going to keep going because it is like, like okay, we don't yeah. have background, but that was kind of funny. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, um, kind of forgot what I was getting ready to say. On, on, sorry, no, 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 it's okay. no, 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 it would happen anyway. You were saying worldwide, right? Worldwide, the people you come in contact with no the significance of them, yes. Mm -hmm. And then one other thing that I think sometimes it, 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 I know, I think, I, I think a lot of us think about it, but it, think about just the age of Chairman Fred Hampton and 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 uh, Sister Akua, mm -hmm. who was a Black Panther, in, you know, in her own right, that's right. Um, she was 19 years old, barely 19 years old. Mm -hmm. Chairman had just turned 21 in August. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God, it's 20. Yeah. Babies. So mm -hmm. I, I think of the vision. I think of, of what he was able to do in, 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 his, in the time. Uh, but this government saw him and the Black Panther Party as such a threat. Mm -hmm. So that, that's so significant. Mm -hmm. 21 years old and 21. this government said they had to kill it's in cointel pro it's, mm -hmm. it's it's in it's in the documents public they records. had to take it it's public records yeah yeah so i mean that's just so significant to me and then you know mama kua uh at the time you know when they came through the house shooting she threw herself yeah. over mm -hmm. chairman understanding you know mm -hmm. i got tried to protect you know the Something. yeah eight at eight pregnant. eight and a half months mm -hmm. pregnant and chairman fred was born three weeks later mm -hmm. uh you know, so it's, 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 it's just, it's just so, uh, significant, you know, and, uh, powerful. Wow. Yeah. So that's why we're here. So this legacy means everything to us. Mm. Uh, you know, we'll do whatever we got to do. This legacy will continue Praise and we, you. and the Black Panther Clubs, you know, that's what we do. Thank you all. Thank, Thank you, you all. Thank, Thank you. you all. The Clubs, Thank everyone sure. involved. Oh my God, duty bound. <laughs> so thank duty, duty thank bound. You. you know, this is not some tabloid yeah. kind right. of issue. And, right. You know, get in front of the camera to be in front of the camera kind oh, of situation. Yeah, this is yeah. really, really critical. So I want to say shout out to Radio Justice, Adam Rice. I'm here with your oh, people. Yeah, right on, right on, right on. Hey, come on, tell Right on, Adam, free them all. That's my man. <laughs> yeah, I do. So like that, yeah. this is going to uh, also run on that platform. Okay, right on. So, yeah, yeah Adam, yeah. Um, you know, we, the group of people, we're all creating some yeah. more outlets so that right. we can do the type of media that we know needs right to be done. Right, yeah. absolutely, so, absolutely. Radio Justice. <laughs> oh, yeah. Free Em All Radio. You just said, to, you know, that's one other thing that the Cubs do. Free Em All right. Radio every Wednesday. Yeah. Every Wednesday from 6 to 8. Every Wednesday. Uh, Free Em All Radio. It's, it's, Chica it's Chicago time. Yeah, right? oh yes. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. Standard Sh time. Yeah, Central Standard Time. We say Chirac time. Yes, <laughs> yes. Oh, and it's God. political education, uh, you know, for the community and even uh, listeners around around the world as well. And look, Comrade Cool say.
Yes. Press one. 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 Oh, one. yeah. Give the number. Uh-huh. 929-477-3785. And do Press what? Press one and be her. <laughs> 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 I like that. Whoa, whoa. Press whoa. one to be her. Yes. Oh, yes. you want to add anything, brother? Anybody want to add anything before we wrap up? No, no. Just, man, thank you so much. for. Uh, yes. And yeah, thank, thank you, listeners, everybody. We need your support. You know what I'm saying? Uh, we say the people with the least been given the most. That's right. why, you know, and uh, we appreciate the sister for coming. You know what I'm saying? Uh, liberated sisters uh, uh, doing their thing. We right. need we need to fight on uh, on this battleground. You know what I'm saying? To, for liberation. You know what I'm saying? The brothers got the sisters back too. Right so, on. Praise be to Allah. Yes. 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 Come back here, camera. Praise be. Okay. Well then, hey, look. Liberated Sisters, I'm Sister Charlene Muhammad. This is The Justice Report. This is our second time with Sister Shakura on The Justice Report. We'll come back a third, fourth, fifth if we need it. I would love to come back and say we were instrumental in helping them to get that 80000 But remember, yes. the goal is 200000 So you all are the kickoff point. You know, Liberated Sisters is adopting the Hampton House campaign. Okay, so every week. When we come on the air, we're going to be asking you to give. Oh, free them all. Free them all. Thank you. Free them all. We love you all. Next up, we're going to be talking to who? Who did I talk to? Oh, I didn't get to talk to Sister Cassiopeia of the Black Mall. Next up, we're going to hear from the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan. He's back, of course, from his trip to Iran. Thank Allah for bringing him and his delegation back. He's going to talk about his message in Tehran. He's debunking. He debunked. He shattered all of the lies and rumors about what he was doing there that was put out by the Zionist Jews, the mainstream media, and his enemies. But Minister Farrakhan also, once again, called out those enemies to a public showdown. And get this, he said he would like to have the great promoter, Don King, deal with that. So yeah, let's see. Sure. You know, he gets what he wants. Yeah. <laughs> so stay tuned. We're going to hear from Minister Farrakhan. You don't want to miss that. And uh, in the meantime, NOI.org, spread the message. Peace. I thank Allah for bringing us safely home. So those of the Jewish people who want me dead, there's a way you can do it. Because my teacher said he was willing to give his life if one word that he taught was false. And I'm willing to offer my life for the word that I teach from the Honorable Elijah Muhammad. You want me dead? Prove that I have lied. And I will offer you my life. But will you offer me yours? If we prove you to be the liars. Will you offer your life? Not that we're going to take you down to the river like Elijah did. But our God is a witness of what you say and what you claim. If you're willing to offer your life, he's willing to take it. Now to all of you, I'm so honored that you came out to see your brother today I really am honored to see you I don't know how many more times this will be so but you're already the winner if you hold on
we have a great number of young scholars a great number you're the winners if you hold on we have fine teachers some sitting here some over there some couldn't make it here today but I'm calling for my enemies I'd like to get Don King to promote it a showdown at Madison Square Garden or showdown why not we're ready to die for what we believe so come on out Mr. Green Black of the ADL and bring Mr. Foxman with you. Come on out, Alan Dershowitz. Come on out. You that say we are haters and anti-Semites, come on out. From your hiding place, leave your niggas at home. Come on out! You think that the nation is only Louis Farrakhan? You think that I'm the only one that can battle this enemy and beat him down? We got stars here! Since you love to say we are the haters, come on out and prove it. We got your history. We know who you are. And we'll be glad to share that knowledge with you. And by the way, we, we won't kill you even though you may be worthy of death we will not kill you if you lose and you will why don't we talk about what God wants and what you can do to help Mr. Trump, God wants his people. I am sad looking in the faces of those who are suffering under the chastisement of God. If you've never had your home burned down and everything that you own burned up in a fire you can't know what people are suffering and they're suffering because they won't let us go did you hear me and your suffering is going to increase because you won't let them go.